Big changes with the weather over the next few days. It's going to turn wet and very windy at times, but it will also be turning a little bit milder. Before that happens, though, another chilly night. Patches of frost and some fog around overnight. Most will stay dry, but not all. As always, one or two places I like to see a bit of showery rain, particularly across eastern England, where we've seen showers through the day, increasing in the southwest of England and southwest Scotland. Elsewhere, though, most will be dry until some showery rain arrives in the far southwest around dawn. In these central areas, it turns quite misty, some fog patches, and it will be turning quite cold as well, where we have clear skies. Temperatures are really dropping down. Towns and cities, two or three, but in rural parts of North Wales, northern Scotland, there will be a frost, a hint of blue on the chart there. And other areas too, in uh, sheltered parts of the countryside, we're not going to be far away from freezing on Tuesday morning. And there'll be some mist and fog to contend with too. Still a few showers across the east initially, but all eyes really on the southwest. A few showers through the morning rush hour, but then this band of rain arrives, spreads into Northern Ireland too, and by lunchtime into West Wales. A period of two to three hours of rain, which will at times be heavy, then marches towards the Midlands and northwest England come the end of the afternoon. Many eastern areas, after some early fog, brighten up. Much of Scotland also has a largely dry day, apart from those showers in the northeast. And the far southwest also probably cheering up by the afternoon. And here, the milder air is arriving, so we could get into the teens. But for most, it's one more cold day, particularly as that cloud and rain pushes into the Midlands, northwest England come the afternoon. It doesn't stop there. It continues to track eastwards, getting into most of eastern England through the evening, pushing northwards across Scotland. So most of us will see a wet period during Tuesday. A drier slot follows on behind, but then more wet and windy weather waiting in the wings. Let's take a look at the big picture, because when there's wet and windy weather, we're often talking about low pressure systems. And this one in particular has been named by the Portuguese Met Service. This is Diana because it's going to bring some uh, pretty lively weather to the Azores. Now it eventually moves up towards the UK but not really until Wednesday when it will bring us some strong winds, I suppose, tightly packed together and these weather fronts will also bring some rain. We have warnings in force initially for the rain and wind especially across the west but also for the winds picking up across the northeast of Scotland and uh, the rain here coupled with some snow melt could cause some problems. The winds in the west like to reach 50, 60, possibility around coasts of 70 mile an hour gusts, coupled with some uh, high tides that could bring some big waves. The potential also for disruption for ferry services, along with tricky driving conditions, especially for high sided vehicles. So Wednesday, even if you haven't got a warning uh, for your area, is basically a wet and windy day wherever you are. But it is also mild. The temperature is 10 to 14 degrees, maybe 15 in some spots, quite a lot milder than it has been. That weather system swings across the UK during Wednesday, clearing on Wednesday night to be followed by another one. And this one, well, if anything, could provide even stronger winds, particularly across parts of the southwest. So we're a bit concerned about that, but that's an extra day ahead. So there's more uncertainty about the exact track of this low pressure system. But it does have the potential to bring even stronger winds. So lots going on, particularly through th Wednesday and Thursday. But the whole week is much wetter than last week. At times it will be very windy, potentially with damaging gusts, and uh, it looks a lot milder as well. Those weather warnings are in force for Wednesday and Thursday for wind and across parts of eastern Scotland for rain as well. Keep up to date with the forecast and the warnings through the Met Office website or follow us on social media.